All right, we're gonna calibrate a motion sensor. Uh, the job of the motion sensor is really just a position detector. A sound pulse is emitted from the screen and it bounces off an object. The sound pulse comes back and the computer is going to time how long it takes. From that, it's supposed to figure out the position. So let's um, talk about this for just a second so you understand how this is going to work. Here's the motion sensor. It's sending out a sound pulse. And so it's going to travel a distance D in a certain time T. And again, it's going to travel a distance d back in the same amount of time t. And the equation of motion says that d is equal to the velocity of the sound pulse multiplied by the time. Now, it turns out that we're traveling 2d and the real time is 2t, but those just cancel off. So in order for the motion sensor to be able to tell us how far away something is, it's going to have to know the speed of the sound. So that's what we're going to try to teach the computer through calibration. The basis of the calibration is going to be a known distance that we have to teach the computer about. Uh, the equation for the velocity of sound, this is the basic equation. Here's the speed of sound at, well, at the altitude of Denver at standard temperature. And then we have to put this conversion. So as you can see, as the temperature goes up, the speed of sound is going to go up. As the temperature goes down, the speed of sound is going to go down. So what we have to do is teach the computer the speed of sound by giving it, let's solve this for V, by giving it a known distance. It's very important that you understand that the computer does not know the speed of sound and it does not know the distance that you're going to place the calibration object. So that's what we'll do next is position the object.